Hello YouTube, welcome back to another episode and in this episode we'll be doing the speed test comparison between the Galaxy S7 Edge Black Pearl and the iPhone 7 Plus. So let's quickly start with the speed test by quickly booting up both the devices and see who boots faster. So the Galaxy S7 Edge boots around a 4 GB RAM and the iPhone 7 Plus on the other hand has a 3 GB of RAM. So quickly booting up both the devices. So I've been using both the devices since around 3 odd months and all I can say that the performance on both the devices is very good but the iPhone 7 performs better or faster a number of times than the Galaxy S7 Edge. Galaxy S7 Edge still suffers with that laggy system sometimes so I have to take restarts while the iPhone I have not even experienced a single hang up till now and has been performing to the mark right from the day one. So the applications that we will be testing or we will be using for the speed test will be Temple Run 2, Sega, Sonic Dash, the third application will be Subway Surfers, fourth Riptide GP, then Asphalt Extreme by Gameloft, then Asphalt 8 again by Gameloft, the next application will be Times of India, InShots, YouTube and Calculator. So both devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So let's quickly start up with the test and see how they perform. So starting with the Temple Run 2. So we can easily see that the iPhone 7 Plus loads the game much faster than the Galaxy S7 Edge. So we're quickly coming to the second game of the speed test, the Sonic Dash. So again loading much faster on the iPhone 7 Plus in comparison to the Galaxy S7 Edge. Now let's start with the third game, the Subway Surfers. So loading much faster on the iPhone 7 Plus than the Galaxy S7 Edge. So up till now we have a 3-0. So let's start with the fourth game, the Riptide GP. So this makes a 4-0. So I easily can say that up till now the iPhone 7 Plus is the clear winner. And let's start with the fifth game. The Asphalt Extreme by Gameloft. So again loading much faster on the iPhone 7 Plus. So I would not say that the loading time on the Galaxy S7 Edge is slower or is it laggy or it is not good but definitely it is much faster on the iPhone 7 Plus. So you can again see while it is still managing to load, the iPhone 7 Plus has completed the load time. And now quickly coming to the next application. The next application we will be using is Times of India. So again a little faster on the iPhone 7 Plus. So we can say that the score up till now is 7-0. iPhone 7 and Galaxy S7 Edge a 0. So coming to the next application in shots. So we can give it a tie both loaded it at the same time. 
now coming to the next application youtube so loading faster on the galaxy s7 edge so let's quickly play this video and see who loads the video faster hi so it loads faster on the galaxy s7 edge so we can say the score is now a 7-1 and finally we come to the final application of the speed test the calculator so loaded much faster on iphone 7 plus so now we'll be doing the round two to see that how many applications are still running in the background in both the phones so quickly coming back to the first application which was temple run 2 so it's still in the background of the iphone 7 plus while galaxy s7 edge is loading it, it from the initial point so a very bad thing that even after having 3 GB and 4 GB of RAM S7 Edge or the Android operating system is not able to manage the background running applications while iPhone 7 plus with only 3 gigs of RAM manages to restore the application from the place we left it so quickly seeing with the second game Again, in the background memory of iPhone 7 Plus, but same problem comes with S7 Edge that it is loading from the initial and the scratch point. So, we'll be testing the third application. I do not expect it to be running, but let's see. So, with iPhone 7 Plus, it is running in the background, but with Galaxy S7 Edge, it has again lost the application and it is again reloading the application from the initial point. Quickly seeing the fourth application, the Riptide GP. So same problem once again. Now when lighter games are not in the background memory of the Galaxy S7 Edge, then how can I expect a game like Asphalt Extreme to be running in the background memory? And I expected this only. So definitely to any Android developer who is hearing or seeing my video, I would like to request you that please, there is a need of the R now that you improve on the background memory management system of the Android operating system. The hardware and the software of the iPhones or the Macs have been so perfectly synchronized that they manage these applications so beautifully and so quickly. So please, I want such an incorporation or everybody wants such an incorporation in the Galaxy S8 or in any of the future flagship device of Android operating system. So see, even an application like Times of India is not fully running in the background and it takes a little bit of time. With iPhone, any application you throw at it, it's all in the background process. Similar is the case with YouTube. So quickly wrapping up the speed test and the clear winner we have over here is the iPhone 7 plus and the score which I can give to iPhone 7 plus is a 9-1 because nine applications the iPhone 7 was faster in opening and loading the applications and only one instance the in shorts the Galaxy S7 Edge managed to load it faster. So this is all from me guys. I hope you like my video. If you like my work, do hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel for tech updates like these. And if you have any queries, don't forget to mention me down in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to answer all your queries. Thank you so much. Stay connected.